Today I've come to Cardiff, capital of Wales and home to some of the best weather in Britain. I brought with me another mystery and we're going to try it out on some unsuspecting people. So what's your name is it? Beth. Okay, cool. Uh, so Beth, we're going to play a little game of cups and balls. Okay. So in this case, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I stole it from here. Uh, so what I'd like you to do is to hide it under one of these three. Okay, I'm going to turn away, and I'm going to try and work out which one is under. Got it? Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to face away, by the way. You done it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So this always reminds me of like what happens at Christmas or a birthdays if someone gives you a gift and you want to know what's in it, right? And you shake it around you and. Do, you do now I'm not really allowed to do this, so I have to pick it up from it from other things. So I'm fairly sure that the first time you'd have put it under this one here. So yes, yes, yeah. yes, cool. Okay, cool, cool. So let's try it again. Let's try it again. It's all about picking up on the bits of information that I can get, right? Try it again. Try it again. Right. So to be honest with you, like, there's nothing in your body language or anything like that that's going to give it away. Okay? <laughs> it's all the other bits of information I have. Because even though you haven't uh, told me anything about where it's going to be, you know, you've moved these cups around so I can just work on the basis of where the cups go. So I'm pretty sure that you've put it in the same one again. I have. Over here. Yeah, <laughs> okay, cool, cool. It's all about using the little bits of clues that you have. You can always work backwards. Can I show you something else? Okay, okay so um, we'll put these away because this is kind of simple. But I've brought with me another present. Oh, thank you. Okay. We're going to use this to hide some of the other objects. So I, I went home and I bought random objects from home, okay? So uh, I have a, a mini art for Triumph, a little hippo pencil sharpener, my keys, a little Lego man, and a pair of my sunglasses. Okay, so Beth, what I want you to do is I want you to pick one of these objects and put them inside my present here, okay? okay. And I'm going to try and work out which one it is. Now, what I want you to do, so that I can't see what you're doing, is cover all of them up with this cloth when you do it, okay? And make sure that I can't see which one you've picked. Okay. Uh, I think you put the hippo in there. Am I right? Can you take it out for me? Okay, okay, okay. Let's try that one again. Let's try it again. I don't see how you can see through it though. How do you see through it? Okay, so that's the Lego man. It is the Lego man. Okay, try, try putting something bigger in there. Put, put one of the bigger objects in again. Okay, so again, it's all about getting the clues that you can from stuff. I can't really tell from anything through the box. It's completely opaque. You agree, like, you can't, you can't, no, you can't see yeah. Through that. Okay. But even then, I can tell you that that's the Arc de Triomphe. Can you just show me? Is it the Arc de Triomphe? Yes. I can tell you that I can actually see through that box. Oh. Wow. Thank you very much for helping. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>